Hello and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Nancy Lewis. Today we're going to be talking about legal reforms in Missouri. We're here today at Truman Medical Centers, Kansas City's Essential Hospitals. We're here today with Missouri State Representative Kevin Corley. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Nancy. It's great to be here. I appreciate you having me. So, okay, we're going to talk about a couple of these legal reforms. One of them has to do with it, uh, provisions related to expert witnesses. Talk to me about that. Talk to me about um, how it'll change things and, and why that's necessary. Right. Well, this year, uh, just this past week, the General Assembly was able to pass an expert witness bill, the bill that we had been working on for a couple years. And uh, what that does is it improves the expert standard in courts when you have scientific cases or medical type cases where, where you need an expert witness, someone to explain some scientific principles to the jury. This just says that that person, number one, needs to be a, a qualified expert in terms of experience or education or training. And number two, they need the opinion that they're expressing needs to be based upon reliable science uh, and good good scientific principles and methods, facts and data, and, and not just be junk science, not just be made up to, to serve someone's case. So tell me what was going on in the course that made this necessary. Well, it's it's a kind of a broader picture here in Missouri in terms of some, some needed reforms to our courts. Uh, there have been business groups such as the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and and the American Tort Reform Association and, and others that consistently rank the lawsuit climate for businesses in Missouri very low. And so there are some things that we need to do and, and it, to improve the, the lawsuit environment, the legal environment, for businesses to do business here in Missouri. And that was one issue, the fact of, of, uh, of, of scientific theories being alleged that weren't really based upon science and that, that would uh, swayed the jury to, to find, you know, for or against a party, and, and that was a needed change. And, and something else that would affect that um, are some reforms that would impact how much money an injured person can receive in a lawsuit. Right, that was another bill that we passed this year, uh, this past week. It was called, it's referred to as a collateral source or a phantom damages bill. And it, the, the simplest way to explain that is all of us get uh, explanation of benefits in the mail if we, if, we're on, if we have insurance. When we go to a doctor, there might be a procedure. And on your explanation of benefits, you'll see several different amounts. And a, a certain procedure may be listed as $100, but then you'll see some discounted or negotiated rates between the insurance company and the doctor. And this, this legislation simply says that for the medical damage portion of, of a lawsuit, that the amount that needs to be given to, uh, shown to the jury is the actual amount paid. So it's not, it's not necessarily the $100 that might be listed at first on the bill, but it's the actual amount paid, which you know, may be $65 or whatever it be. So I want to have, we have a little time left, I want to talk a little bit about Real ID, something you've been working on. Um, talk to me about what's going on with that in the legislature right now. This past year, I filed a bill to uh, fix the issue that we have in Missouri with our driver's licenses not being compliant with the federal Real ID law. We heard a lot of, uh, I heard from a lot of constituents that we need a fix to that because as it stands, uh, Missourians cannot go on to federal uh, bases or federal facilities without additional documentation. In 2018, Missourians will never be will not be allowed to fly on domestic airplanes without additional uh, uh, identification. So we're trying to give a fix, and that is to give the Missourians a choice that if they would like to receive a, a real ID compliant driver's license, they can. But if they want to stick to the same Missouri license that they have now, they could also do that. And I'm going to keep working on that next session. Okay, we'll be interested to see what happens. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here, right. and thank you for being here. We hope to see you next time on Newsmakers.